Hey! Fash. 14th of April, 2019. This is a, nothing less than a giant ritual, just like they all are. I mean, you go all the way back to the beginning of the space program. All of this stuff is just huge, deceptive rituals designed to, number one, deceive the world, but also to garner the power of that deception. When people believe the lie, the perpetrators of the lie garner the power through that. Because the people are serving that lie. Satan, when it boils down to it. And that's all this was. You know, I showed you how they launched it at 222, which, biblically, Genesis, which is Bereshit, which this whole thing is Genesis. Uh, Genesis 222 talks about the rib being taken from Adam and creating the woman. This is the beginning in their eyes because that's when the whole system of humanity began, was in the garden. And now they want to get themselves back to the garden, bypassing God and judgment. That's what their plan is, their new Tower of Babel. That's exactly what's going on here, it, literally. <laughs> so, they, so they crashed it on 11.4. They launched it on 222. Okay? Now we write 114 as in 411. Right? All Genesis. This is all Genesis. We go to Genesis 411. And what do we get? We get where Cain is cursed from the earth. Okay? Now at the same time that they're running this bear sheet. NASA is running a giant study on the twins, as in Cain and Abel. Just look at this graphic. You got one upside down, one right side up. The 23, the 23. The two-strand DNA, this upside down orange fella, is in the world, like Cain. This guy appears to be in another dimension. Heaven, maybe. Because that's what they plan to do. They are trying to get to heaven. All this black hole stuff, everything is highly ritualistic. But it's also manifesting into reality where we are seeing this happen. I mean, look at this graphic. The sunrise. The caduceus. It's just insane. The twins study. Look what they use for the uh, W and twins. The ISS. And in their Masonic NASA numerology, the W or the ISS is a 911. Just think about this. They're using 911 as the double U. <laughs> that is insane. But that's what it is. Okay, and then we go forward to the 114. And what do we get? We get the Tower of Babel. Let us build a city and a tower which top may read to heaven. This is all the same. I mean, we can even look, we can go on and on, you guys. It's, it's actually quite amazing. Isaiah 14. It's the 14s, the 11s are just crazy. Isaiah 14, 14. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. This is so, so obvious what they're doing here is constructing their Tower of Babel, installing their new world order. Okay, this is exactly what's going on here. And there's so many things that we could go through here. I mean, this little video, wow, this little video that they do, I've showed you this before, but this is off the charts. The little girl, the star, the red horse, all the phallic symbols, the moon, which represents the feminine. Look at the phallic symbols everywhere. The three, three, 23, 46, 69. The red scarlet cape on the little child. All of these little videos. I'm telling you, this is just like completely off the charts. Crazy stuff, you guys. Look at this. Bereshit will spend 72 hours. This really cracked me up when I saw this. 72 Horus, 
on the moon investigate in vesti gate that literally means in a veiled or covered gate i'm serious spell it out vesti i even pulled it up somewhere here these are things i just want to show you because it is amazing vesti is a covering or a veil vesti they're in vesti gate you understand what i'm saying magnetic m a g n e t i c magic net i'm just telling you this is how i see these things and these guys are doing nothing but no good nicks and now they're just tweeting like high school kids. Look at this. This morning, 3.22 a.m. Huh. They're going to have a Q&A session on Reddit. Isn't that lovely? The 72 hours. It's 72 just as a number in and of itself represents so many things. I mean, seriously, the, the, the journey took 49 days. Exactly. Seven sevens essentially a false declaration of purification of spiritual enlightenment if you will and it's also a 13 the rebellion the rebellion shows up in the law of first mention in the bible in genesis 14 <laughs> 4 12 years they served cheddar lomar and in the 13th year, 4 and 9, they rebelled. First mention in the Bible, 14.4. I'm telling you, there's something, it's a generational thing, because the 14 represents the generations, like in Matthew 1. You know, they're looking to construct their new Tower of Babel. That's the bottom line. And it all ties together, all these space agencies and all the governments, they're all in this together. Hate to tell you, but it's a giant lie. NASA lies. It's just the way it is. Sorry, guys. But they are going after their little Stargate. Again, the 72. you got to think about these things. The 72 is the, uh, the number of stars that surround the apotheosis of Washington and the oculus in Washington DC I believe Washington DC is essentially the muscle if you will of the New World Order uh, and it will fail it's just the way it's just laid out man that's God's rules not mine but I mean look at all this stuff that this is the, the uh, uh, dome in Washington DC the 72 stars, the 72 arrangements of the Tetragrammaton, the 72 names of God, Kabbalah, it's everywhere. The 13 female figures, all with stars over their heads. You got to think about this. The mythological figures, Poseidon, the rainbow, they have deified themselves because their God is the devil. And he's promised them that they're going to be just like gods, taken from the tree of life, live forever with no judgment. Do what thou wilt and build their stairway to heaven. That's what they're doing, folks. And don't think for one minute it isn't because that's exactly what they're doing. So, you know, it's ongoing. It isn't over. This stuff just continues but we're watching it manifest and it's just a matter of time before you're going to know you need to make a decision. And if it's not already firmly based in Jesus Christ, get to it. Get to know him. Humble yourself and ask to know the truth. Open the word of God and just start to read with humility. It's so important that you realize that our carnal minds can't figure this out and we see the darkness encroaching. We just see it coming so many people are trying to figure out ways that they'll be able to usurp the new world order it's not going to happen jesus christ is the only way he's the truth so that's where you need to start and then all this stuff kind of becomes kind of foolishness god looks at all this as foolishness because they will fail 
However, they're going to take down as many as they can with them. So don't be one of those. Don't be a victim of this satanic world. Seek Jesus Christ. And plant your feet firmly on that foundation. Because it's here. It's just a matter of time. So I hope this makes sense to someone. Jesus first. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 